Hello everyone. I wanted to do a quick video around the heap sizes and the memory allocation around both gray login and Elasticsearch in the Java portion. We've had a lot of questions around this in the forums and different community posts, so I wanted to create a quick video to kind of go over the basics and the fundamentals of this. Again, we'd have to adjust this for every size of installation. But to give you guys a quick understanding of each parameter and where it affects it at, I wanted to create a quick video for you. So if you look inside of your console here like I have up, um, that's just the basic search screen, but if I go to system here and then nodes, and then I click on this one, you can see here there is the JVM, and this is the first heap. Now this heap is tied to Greylog. So there's two different heaps. There's the Greylog heap and there is the Elasticsearch heap. In this case, this is a one gigabyte heap by default out of the box, and then the Elasticsearch is there as well, and that by default is a gig as well. So we'll wanna adjust both of those. The Elasticsearch one, you can't see through the console, but what you can do is actually open up the different terminal, as I show here, and then what you can do is you can do a curl statement, such as this, where you're curling the local Elasticsearch node, when you're catting the nodes, and you put a H equals heap in the V, and in this case here, you can see there is a one gig heap currently on Elasticsearch. So now how do I adjust these going forward? So the first one, let's go ahead and adjust the Elasticsearch. So I wanna go ahead and find those default locations of the Java JVM heap sizes. So on Ubuntu, it's, it's under the Etsy Elasticsearch and then JVM options file. And then under similarly, under the CentOS, under Etsy Sysconfig and Elasticsearch. So if on my Ubuntu box here, if I go under Etsy, Elasticsearch, and then JVM options, I can come inside of here, and by default, it's at one gig. So let's go ahead and replace these to four gig. I'm just gonna go ahead and modify those. So you'll see before it was the one gig, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the system control. Um, go ahead and restart the Elasticsearch. Okay. All right. We'll give this a few seconds. Um, right now it's refused. I give a few seconds to start back up and then go ahead and query the heap size to make sure it adjusted from that one gig where it was before up to that four gigs. Um, so here you go ahead and see that it is now at that 3.9, which is the four gig marker. So that's that first setting that we modified. Now this one, again, you can't see through the GUI itself, but it is in the Elasticsearch configuration file. Now we want to go ahead and modify the gray log configuration file to adjust that one. So again, by default, it's a gig out of the box. The file could be in many different locations. It's usually going to be inside of your, your, your server.com file, um, or it could be in the defaults file. On the normal Ubuntu installation, it's under the Etsy defaults gray log server file. So let's go ahead and edit that one. And if I edit the Greylog server file, you'll see there's a few parameters here, and these are both how do I define that. So right now it's at one gig. So if I go ahead and replace this to you know, three or four gigs, um, it's gonna go ahead and change that. Or if I'm doing a basic tarball installation, it's gonna be in the Greylog control package. So in order to modify the normal tarball installation, I can go into the, the, the Greylog bin directory and then underneath of that, there's a gray log control. So if I buy the gray log control box, um, right here, you can see there's two settings in here. So if I switch this first one, let's replace that to three gigs on my box. And then I want to go ahead and restart gray log. So let's go ahead and restart that one. That will take a minute to come back up. But now what you've done is you've restart both of the Elasticsearch and move that one up in the Java heap size, as well as you've modified the gray log Java heap stack and modified that up to three gigs as well. One note while we wait for a second for this one to come back up around the heap size settings, um, it's in our documentation in here. So if you go to our documentation and look for something like heap, it'll pull up the different settings and you can click on the elastic search. It'll give you a description of where to find all those at um, in, the, in the different file paths. But if you look at this link right here, it says don't cross 32. It actually pulls up this where it says why you don't want to cross 32. Um, so you want to keep your Java heap size under 31 gigs just to make sure there's no issues with Java and the way that Elasticsearch operates with it. 
So let's go back here inside of our gray log instance. Now you can see that we have upgraded that three gig heap size in this case. And then if I also want to go back in here, just to double check, um, like we did before, I can go in and do that same curl command here and see that we are at four gigs. So now we've upgraded both the Elasticsearch and the gray log to have a higher Java heap size. I hope this video helps a little bit to understand the difference of the heaps, where to modify those at, and how to configure them. Happy logging.